I'm WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Adderley. It was a disappointing result on the field here at Paycor Stadium for this weekend's Bengals game, but it did not overshadow the excitement among fans who were able to soak in the energy of this fan base here at home once again. It would have been hard not to hear it or see it That's why Bengal be. from this sea of orange and black. The Bengals are back in the Cincinnati jungle. Just made me tingle all over this morning walking over here. And the city's alive in who day spirit. Best fan base, you know, in the city or in the world, really. Busy bars and crowded sidewalks as thousands of fans cleared Paycor Stadium. Bad loss today, but still fun to cheer on the Bengals. Walking out, these game day fits. My granddaughter made me this bracelet. Stole the show. I do a latex base with my skin and paint it on, so I actually had this done last night and I slept in it. This will last for three or four months. For some, the Bengals-Ravens rivalry hits extra close to home. Both of them are strong competitors when it comes to the game. Andrew and Lauren came in from Maryland for the game. I was surprised by, for the most part, how welcoming Cincinnati fans were. Others kept their true colors a bit closer to their chest. He's a Chiefs fan. He's just wearing that today because he didn't like the Ravens. Uh, you don't have to reveal that much. While it wasn't the result fans had been hoping for. We should have won that game, but hey, if it happens, it happens. The outcome couldn't overshadow the joy the Bengals brought to Cincinnati. They just bring us all closer together. I think it's just the Cincinnati feel and the pride and um, everyone coming together. Reporting at the Banks. Yay! Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.